Today I'm going to be comparing this point and shoot, the Meme T3 Contax with a Leica with the Zeiss 35 2.8C tiny little lens. What motivates this is years ago before I got into shooting point and shoots, I always heard people say there's no reason to shoot an SLR or a Leica unless you like the feel of shooting it and Especially when I had more basic point and shoots and I got the images back, I did feel like there was a bit of a compromise, so I wanted to see how much of that was in my head and how much of that is real. So today I'm going to compare these two lenses at 2.8 and also stop down at f5.6. I'll also throw in a couple bonus comparisons with a digital point and shoot, the Ricoh GR3, and I'll use TMAX 100 because it's really sharp and I like the film too. Not on a tripod because I'm not that crazy and they're all at 1 500th or 1 1,000th, so it shouldn't really matter. The biggest difference for me was that the Zeiss lens on the Leica tended to be less flare prone, less glowy. In terms of contrast, I actually thought that the T3 had a bit more, which really surprised me because, you know, tiny lens. I also noticed that the Zeiss lens had noticeably less glowiness and flare, which you may or may not prefer, but it also had a hood on it, which is impossible to attach on a compact, so. And then finally, in terms of sharpness. Honestly, it's really hard for me to make a close call here. I looked at a number of frames, not all of which I've shown in the video, and it was largely a wash, but I did tend to find the Zeiss lens a little bit sharper in the corners, and I also found it a little bit sharper at 5.6. It's really tough to assess because the Contax has more contrast and accutance, so it'll look sharper on first glance, but if you actually look at like letters and stuff to see the actual amount of detail, the Zeiss lens is a hair better. And of course, if you compare them to the digital lens, time passes and technology evolves. Unfortunately, we don't have film lenses made today, and sadly no one really invests money into researching advances in film stocks, so it's not shocking that the digital camera is sharper. Would you prefer the images from it? Honestly here, I don't. I think there is a bit of drama and pleasant imperfection to the film images, and I tend to prefer them here. I post these videos about once a month, and if you're interested in mostly film stuff, then feel free to subscribe. If you have some thoughts on the video or you feel like there's some helpful way they could be better, feel free to let me know down below. All the music, photos, and the videos themselves are released under Creative Commons if there's anything useful you want to do with them. 
Otherwise, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you next month. Thank you.